But the record there begins to get a little patchier. And if you look back into the Cold War, and you were to ask, for example, look at US explanations of what was happening in Southeast Asia, um, first with the Viet Minh and then with the Viet Cong, relationships between uh, Vietnamese nationalist movements and Chinese uh, 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 communism, you would get some, perhaps the explanation was not as sound as now we might, with historical perspective, say it should be. The same would be true in the before the fall of the Berlin Wall, uh, explanation of what was actually <coughs> happening in political terms behind the Iron Curtain. So, a rather more mixed picture on prediction, uh, on explanation. My third category was prediction, and this is where we really get into trouble. <coughs> <coughs> where are the terrorists going to strike next? Well, we don't know. Um, can we predict? Yes, you can make extrapolations, you tend to fall into the inductive fallacy at this point, uh, you extrapolate from where you've been before, uh, the, the black swan is very hard to, to, to spot before you've seen it. Um, will new tactics be adopted by terrorists and so on? And if you were to put it in my Chinese example, I think you would be asking if uh, we, the United States and others, put forward bold new arms control proposals, what would be the Chinese reaction? Can we predict how their system would react? got good enough intelligence, awareness, you've got some really good convincing explanations of why they're doing what they're doing, there is a chance that you can actually shift the odds in your favour and give yourself quite a good prediction of how they'll react to an initiative. But at this point, you're very much, as I say, operating um, on the on the odds. So um, you could list, and I would point to Time is against me. I'll just mention the Yom Kippur War in 1973, classic case, Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia in 68, the fall of the Shah, Saddam's invasion of Kuwait. Most of these count as mysteries rather than secrets. Even the participants weren't really sure what next week was going to bring until it arrived. And therefore, by definition, there aren't secrets to be uncovered, there are mysteries to uh, be teased out. Uh, and uh, predicted. On the counterterrorism plot, I think the record is extremely good um, at predicting, at uncovering, and then preempting. And uh, plots such as Operation Crevice, Operation Avert, the airlines plot. There were at least some secrets that could be uncovered uh, in those cases. Although, if you recall the court case for the Crevice bombers who had that huge uh, fertilizer bomb uh, they were going to make, even they had not chosen the target at the time they were arrested. My fourth category, and I won't dwell on this because we can deal with it in discussion, was uh, performance on taking action. And there, I think the actual performance of the British agencies is very good. What is perhaps debatable is the wisdom of the policy decisions that say use covert means to do in the dark what the government does not wish to be seen to be doing in the light. And there's a long history, uh, both for US intelligence, and if you go back far enough in British intelligence, uh, the overthrow of Mossadegh and so on, um, of cases where action was taken as a result of a policy decision, not an intelligence decision, but a policy decision very well executed, but were these actions actually uh, justified? Um, being in a university, I'll give a Wagnerian reference here just to close these remarks. If you remember uh, the, uh, the ring, and you remember the plight that poor old Wotan was in, he had his spear and on his spear were carved the runes, the treaties that he signed and that bound it and constrained it, rather as any government these days is constrained. Um, and to break out of this um, and save, save the gods, um, he goes about fathering children to 
So he tries to create the hero, and he creates uh, Sigmund. But he gives him the magic sword. It's not actually a free agent. And it's uncovered, and Sigmund, alas, has to die. And eventually he creates the Siegfried, he creates the true hero. Uh, but being a free hero, the first thing he does is shatter Wotan's spear and uh, is not under control and does not do what Wotan wishes with the ring and the end is Wotan. And you can apply that kind of analysis to interventions, covert interventions, whether it's in South America, whether it's, uh, you know, there are unexpected side effects once you try to use proxies um, in a covert operations, use proxies, they usually turn around and in the end bite you. So I will stop at that point with that categorization um, and I look forward to